All right, folks, I'm gonna do a little video on replacing your fuel button on a uh, 855 Cummins to supply for small cam and big cams um, and some other PT pumps. Um, basically, you got four bolts here. You wanna adjust your idle screw, take that thing out. Of course, you gotta cut the safety wire, a um, little tamper wire, four 7 16 bolts, pull that whole thing off. And uh, show you how to press the button. Once you get your cover and your gasket off, the snap ring. Pull that off. All right, folks, get your snap ring out. You're gonna have a bunch of shins behind it. Don't lose them. That's your uh, governor springs. Of course, you got a motor spring or your governor shim, what that is, but. Little sleeve here, pop it out. You got a button and a spring behind it. It's your button. This is actually a number 16, I believe. Or 15, sorry. Um, we're actually going to go down to a 5 and run it and see if you want to go any more. Uh, may even go to a double zero. Um, I have a double zero button. Um, but. That's pretty simple, and then reassemble, you know, spring in, button in, and then slide this back into your pump. This will be hit facing out, and then put your spring in, put your shins behind it, push in with it, put your snap ring in again, and reassemble your outer cover. That's it. 